Well, hello and welcome to a new video. I have something really exciting to unpack today. Um, so let me get the packages. So here we go. I got three packages from Paloma Shell and I'm gonna unbox them, uh, show the products and then use them during photo sessions, show you some behind the scenes clips and then of course the final images and give you my honest opinion about these products. So here we go, uh, Paloma Shell, it's from Brazil. It's a stand uh, which you can use during newborn photo shoots. Uh, currently I have my setup here in the back which is like a bean bag and flexi bars on the side. Uh, so I'm gonna get some scissors and then open the package. I think this is the bean bag which still needs to be filled so that's gonna be challenging. So for, for today I'm just gonna open it, see what it's like and then maybe use my own bean bag if it fits. Um, you can see the classic stand, a big stand, mini stand or the mega stand. So I have the classic stand which is the same size as the big stand uh, but just with a different type of bean bag inside. They're all wrapped individually, so I think that prevents it from scratching into each other. We've got shorter ones and bigger ones. These are shorter ones and these are the bigger ones. Okay, wow, that was actually really easy. Um, yeah, they, they have a picture here in the manual, but then if you look at it, it kind of makes sense by itself. So I love how big it is. Uh, it's beautiful and the quality is really good. It feels really sturdy, but it's still super light. And you have this click system where you, um, you know it's really well secured. Um, so let me just show you a close up. Like you can see how the way it enters, like you just like it's really nice like plasticky uh, as well here in the top so you don't cut yourself in the metal and then you just like enter it and that's it super well made good quality very sturdy and you can see how big it is like it's it's big guys so here you can see like butterfly posing pillows uh, so you can fill them up with um, some fluff or some of these little balls just make sure they don't come out because it's like velcro and then you can use them as posing pillows so i want to try those out later uh, for now i'm just going to put them aside um, and then what i have in here is probably the bean bag so here you can see the bean bag i'm currently using let's see if i can use it in my Paloma shell today Yeah, it's definitely a bit higher. So this one will fit better, of course, in the stand because the white beanbag was made for the stand. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it today with this stand because now my beanbag is actually a tiny little bit too low. Um, and then I'm gonna <laughs> later fill this, try to fill this beanbag, which is always a little bit of a challenge because you can get these little white balls everywhere. So I'm gonna order them today and then, um, I'm going to uh, film that, so that'll be funny. I could also, like this beanbag is from shootbaby.com and it has two compartments in there and they're already filled with these tiny white uh, little balls. Um, so I could take the fillings out and put it in here, but then you will still have, it's the same flatness. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Well, and hello, I'm gonna, try and fill up my bean bag. So I have 400 liters of these tiny white balls and I have a bean bag right here. So I'm gonna try to get this into that without making a complete mess here in the studio. So let's go. I have a few ways to try and fill my bean bag. So yeah, let's go. Very full of these white fluffy balls. Um, so yeah, so this is the beanbag from Shoot Baby, which I have been using for the last five, six years. Very good beanbag, but just too small. So here, I have the beanbag from Paloma Shell. So there are no compartments inside, it just opens with a big zipper. Uh, in my other beanbag, I have two compartments. Um, 
So here it's just gonna be trying to throw the stuff in there. I have a few tools, so I'm gonna try and use those. I don't know, but this is what I have with me right now to try and get the wet fluffy balls into the beanbag. Anyway, so it still needs a little bit more, uh, makes sense because they told me I had to order like 600 liters and I ordered 400, but I do have the compartment from my other beanbag, which I can maybe put in if it's needed. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get the final bits and pieces in. vacuuming this is so satisfying to vacuum because you can even like hover above the little tiny balls and they will just rise up into your vacuum um so yeah i don't know if there is a non-messy way to fill up your beanbag it's probably not the way to do it uh but it worked and it's quite actually it's it's actually quite easy to vacuum them up uh don't use like a floor mat uh as a backdrop because just have make sure you have nothing here like i even have like a bowl there with a little blanket so it has all these white balls in it so make sure you have a clean area fill it up and afterwards vacuum so yeah uh next step well, i'm going to continue vacuuming but then next step is seeing how the beanbag fills the paloma shell here we go i've got the beanbag and i'm going to place it into the paloma shell here you go Too empty, maybe. Maybe it's still too empty. Maybe it should be fuller. Okay, so here we go. We've got the Paloma shell already to be used for the first time. 
So yeah, the girl who's coming in, she likes uh, earthy tones. So I have that kind of backdrop on, little outfits. I'm gonna get some headbands ready. This is how deep the beanbag is. And I put my light a little bit higher so that the light hits the right angle. So here we go, super excited. So as you can see, uh, well, this is going to be my first time trying out the Paloma shell. I have a little chair here. I want to get one of those like cooler chairs. I just have to see what's practical. Anyway, I, the baby can be here and I can sit, so that's good. So I won't be sitting on my knees. So I think that'll be... I could, but I think the chair is more comfortable. Yeah, we'll see. I might have to get a little bit higher one and a more like ergonomically sound one. Well, this is the chair I have right now. Um, so this is how big it is, nice and big. Beanbag is lower, which keeps the fabric nice and stretched out. And uh, I'm super excited. Now my heater is just quite low to the floor. So it's not really heating onto the baby, but I think that's fine. We'll just see how it goes. my first impression of the Paloma shell um, it's very nice it is very very nice I still have to like see if I'm gonna sit on my knees or on a chair because I found myself sitting on my knees again just because I'm used to sitting on my knees but I think I just have to get used to sitting on a little chair because that's probably better for my back okay so we're currently in Ikea looking for like a chair where I can sit on next to my beanbag. I know Anna Brent is using like a yoga ball, so that might work, but we're just looking around to see what they have. I like this model, but I think it's nicer when it has wheels so you can actually roll around in the studio. So yeah, this was a beautiful girl. She was already almost four weeks old. Uh, we just used one backdrop uh, and we used three different decors like as far as prop shots uh, the parents were actually surprised that she was so happy and comfortable here and they want to buy now the baby shisher as well <laughs> um, yeah because she was so relaxed so yeah um, I really love this I still have to see what kind of like chair I'm gonna use uh, and I'm gonna give you maybe my a more detailed opinion later after using it at least one or two more times 
uh, because now I've only used it once. Um, but I like it. No wrinkles in the backdrop, that's for sure. Because you can clip it all around. I did move around the stand a little bit as well, so I didn't have to move around my light as much. So that was really nice, so I could just see how I wanted the light to fall on the baby's face. Um, yeah, the height I have to see. But I like that I can stand and still take a photo from the top with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens, no problem. Um, I was shooting with an aperture of 3.5, most of the time 3.5, 3.2, and an ISO of around 640, shutter speed 200. Um, so yeah, beautiful. So I have to see how I'm going to work with this stand, like how I'm going to behave with this stand. So probably just sitting instead of standing <laughs> bent it over um, and sitting on the floor, in, well, sitting on a stool instead of sitting on the floor. But anyway, I like it for now. Um, to be continued. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. So I really hope you enjoyed my first impression of the Paloma Shell um, regular stand. I don't know what the name is, but anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Maybe in the comments, let me know what kind of backdrop stand you use. So I use the ones from Shoot Baby a lot. And um, yeah, you can have other types of backdrop stands. Bye bye.